The Far Cry series is a first-person shooter franchise developed by Ubisoft. The different games, except from the very first one, takes place in different areas in the actual real world. And in this video we will look over whether the next game in the series, Far Cry 7, could possibly be played in Kurdistan. Before we start, don't forget to like this video, comment your opinion down below and subscribe to the channel, make sure that you don't miss any further videos on this channel. Also, don't forget to follow us on Instagram, everything about Kurdistan. And now, without further ado, let's get into the video. So firstly, I want to point out that none of the previous Far Cry series have actually portrayed a government or an actual conflict rather than being inspired by environments or different conflicts in the world. So why do I think that Ubisoft should have their next release in Kurdistan? Well, mainly because the Far Cry series lack a game in that area. Far Cry 2 was released in 2008 and was based in a Central African country. The next release, Far Cry 3, came 4 years later and this time the game was based in Indonesia. Another 2 years passed before the next release and Far Cry 4 then took place in Nepal. The next game in the Far Cry universe would be Far Cry 5 which was based in America and Ubisoft also released two spin-off games, Far Cry Primal based in Europe and Far Cry 5 Hour of the Darkness based in Vietnam. The most recent game, Far Cry 6, was released a few months ago and this time we are in the Caribbean. According to the official Far Cry wiki, the world is inspired by the nation of Cuba. Playing this game and reading about the trivia of the game, I actually started to think about why Ubisoft haven't made a game based on the Kurdish cause, or at least inspired of it. Maybe the Far Cry 6 game even hinted about the upcoming story of the next game because this is what I noticed during the gameplay of Ubisoft's most recent release. Okay, a dog? How did you get in here, boy? Juan, I just found a weapons shipment. American. Interested? Danny, that's like asking Saddam if he wanted more chemical weapons during the Anfal campaign. Of course I'm fucking interested. Found a dog too. Dogs are useful in war. If we would imagine a Far Cry 7 game based on the Kurdish cause, I believe that it could go down in two different ways. The first one would be based on the Kurdish struggle against the regime of Saddam Hussein. In this case, Ubisoft could develop a game based on reality when it comes to characters, events and places, but at the same time a bit of an imagination where the game could take place in a what if US never attacked Iraq in 2003 situation. We could actually have a Far Cry 7 in Kurdistan where Saddam Hussein in reality never was toppled by US and where the Kurds would be fighting a civil war which had been going on since the 70s and the 80s. Basically, we could have a game that mainly took place in Hawler occupied by Iraqi forces and where the player is fighting for the liberation of the city together with Peshmerga forces. The game could be organized with Saddam Hussein as the main villain, having his son Qusay Hussein as a side boss, controlling the military, and Uday Hussein as another one, controlling the propaganda business. I would also love to see other mini bosses such as Chemical Ali, head of poisonous chemical gas in Iraq, and Mulazim Wassin, head of the Sleimani Iraqi forces. On the other side, I would love to see older Peshmerga soldiers sharing their experiences with the 1988 Halabja genocide and the 1991 Raparin revolution. Perhaps we could be introduced to some of the legendary heroes of the Kurdish cause. 
For example, the Assyrian female Peshmerga, Margaret George Shello, or Mamarisha himself. I would love to see side quests in cities like Slemani, for example, where the liberation of Amna Suraka would be a main mission of the game. Towards the final of the game, as Sleimani and Hawler would be liberated, the Peshmerga would head towards Baghdad itself, ending the regime of Saddam Hussein. Just like previous games, there would be choices to be made. For example, I would love to see the choice of whether we would spare any of the bosses, giving them lifetime prison or just executing them as they lose. I would also love to see choices of which path the player is taking Peshmerga as he lead the war towards Baghdad itself. I would also want to see some kind of choice depending on the unity of different factions among the Kurds and the same thing when it comes to Jashes that cooperates with Saddam Hussein regime against their own people. If Ubisoft would decide to not go with this kind of gameplay against the regime of Saddam Hussein, then I guess another alternative would be the gameplay inspired by the recent conflict against the Islamic State. However, I fear that this could be a little bit controversial among people of the world whether it is too soon to portray the conflict in a game or if it is appropriate. For these reasons, I think at the moment Ubisoft would do themselves a favor to go with the first game proposal. But I would love to hear your thoughts down below. Do you think Ubisoft should go for a Saddam Hussein portrait game or a Islamic State portrait game? Whether if Ubisoft would decide to go for the second choice, it would actually be kind of cool to see a player rolling around in Islamic State controlled Raqqa as a cover. The thought of that just makes me really excited and I would love to see that in reality if it could be made in the right way. At the same time, we have seen a lot of movies and series about the conflict against the Islamic State, so I'm quite split in the thought of if the world is ready for a game or not. I will leave the links down below with more information of previous Far Cry games and how they have been inspired by real world locations. Be sure to check them out. Don't forget to like this video, comment your opinion down below and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you don't miss any further videos on this channel.